Hello and welcome back to F1 2021 Driver Career Mode. My name's Chris and we're in Baku this week. Season 2, Race 2. We're coming off the back of probably the best first round we could have hoped for. We won in Bahrain. And so here we are in Baku. This is free practice one then. Our first time out on track. And uh, yeah, didn't start too well. We've having, we had some real issues with the balance of the car. It just felt like a boat. And I don't know why. We just couldn't quite get in tune with it. So anyway, we sorted that out later on. Um, and we, we got a few good laps in. So let's go qualifying then for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Here we go then. This is Q1, currently on our first flying lap. And going purple. I believe, though, let's not take that too uh, too too much to heart because I don't know if everybody's done a time yet. Through the castle section. Looking good so far. Car's feeling a lot better than it was, certainly in practice. We just managed to find that groove. Another purple sector then in sector two, which leaves us just the final sector. If we can nail this, that should put us in good stead for getting through to the second round of qualifying. As we come up the final straight, flat out right now, 200 miles an hour. And P1 for now. Here we go then in Q2, another purple first sector. First sector is good for us so far this weekend. On the soft tyre, of course. Um, I mean, it's just the best tyre for, for, for me, at least. I always feel much, much better on that tyre. And, oh, good. Perfect. Well, that's the end of that session then. So, uh, <laughs> wow, we just binned it in the castle section. Let's have another look at that because that was... That was not ideal. I was not expecting that. Here we go then. Just I completely overcooked it into there and just binned it straight in the wall. So yeah, that's us out. Um, I, I don't know where, where whether we managed to get a lap in at all where we're going to be. So uh, P15, I guess, is yeah where we're going to be starting that this Grand Prix. It's, I don't know what to say, to be honest. I Wow. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, not ideal. From Azadlik Square, heart of Baku, and home, of course, to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. With high speeds, tight corners, and few runoff zones, many are expecting a safety car here today, so our drivers will have to stay very much on their toes and hopefully away from the barriers. The Baku City Circuit measures roughly six kilometers and is made up of 20 corners and two DRS zones. The circuit winds around the narrow city, through the old town, and even brushes against the city's medieval walls. However, as beautiful as the setting is, this track is also a ferocious technical challenge, where the smallest of mistakes could lead to catastrophic consequences for all of our drivers. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he starts from pole position. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Perez, Pierre Gasly, and Sainz, Leclerc, Giovinazzi, Sonoda, and Sebastian Vettel, Ocon, Ricardo, Lewis Hamilton. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty, and Stroll. Power, Russell, Jack Aitken, and Mick Schumacher, Latifi, and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. Let's see what we can do, I guess. Starting in P15 is not ideal, especially after winning... In Bahrain last week, so 
see what we can do after our accident in Q2. Um, we're looking at changing up the strategy a little bit, see if we can pull something out of the bag. Looks like we're going to start on the medium tyre, potentially, and uh, hop onto the softs towards the end of the race. Yeah, that is what we're going to do. So here we go, then, as we sit in 15th, as we wait for the five red lights, and we're underway for the Baku Grand Prix. Here we go, then. Stroll in 14th. We get a bit of a wobbly start as we head into turn one. We're going to see if we can make up a couple of places up into P14, at least for now. And Stroll is not liking that, giving us a bit of a knock. And we head down the inside of Danny Ricardo, who's now with Alfa Romeo for this season, of course, which is a bit of a surprise. We stole his seat. So, uh, Kimi Raikkonen, of course, uh, retired at the end of last season. And now Danny Rick's back in the sport, which is great to see, of course. So, Hamilton ahead of us, P12. I don't know what happened to Hamilton in qualifying, but not having a great, great race. Um, we just get around and go down the inside as we chase after Esteban Ocon and Sebastian Vettel just ahead as we come out of the first sector. Currently in P12. Down the inside. Beautiful. Just sweetly done. Picking them off one by one. We're already up into P11 on the first lap. So hopeful for the result of this one. As there's our move on Hamilton. Nice and clean down the inside. And here, by the looks of it, might be our move on Esteban Ocon as well. Super close. Literally in on his gearbox as we come around there. And just as we come down, we just dive down the inside. And there we go. Get the job done as we head into the castle section on the first lap of this Grand Prix. Not crashing into the castle section, of course, this time around. Here we are then, at the end of lap one. Vettel just ahead. We're just outside the points paying positions at the moment, so we need to see what we can do to get ourselves back into those as we dive down the inside into turn one. Beautiful. Beautifully done. That's us up into P10 then. Nice Jeff's happy with that one. Sonoda and Leclerc are battling just ahead of us, which is great for us. It means we can hopefully uh, gain some, some pace on those guys. As we're having a look up the inside, we're probably a bit far back at the moment as Vettel comes around the outside, but we're not having it. Straight down the inside again, uh, just to cover him off there. And uh, Leclerc and Sonoda are just side by side here the whole way around this lap so far. So we're going uh, we're gonna to capitalize on that and head right past them. And two for the price of one give Leclerc plenty of room there and we're up into P8 on lap two. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Jeff over the radio letting us know that DRS is now enabled as we head into the third lap of this race and of course ahead of us Giovinazzi and Carl Sainz are our next target as we set the fastest lap of the race. We're on lap four, and we're closing in on those two guys as they're basically doing what Sonoda and Leclerc were doing, just bickering and letting us catch up. So works works out really well for us, this. So we're just going to make the most of it as they sort themselves out. Signs keeping himself ahead. But we're right there. We're right on them. We, of course, we're on medium tyres, don't forget. So we, we should be slower around here at the moment than the soft runners. But we're keeping with them, of course, with the help of the DRS zones. As we approach the end of lap four, do we go for a move on Giovinazzi? It looks like we might. Down the inside. Nicely done. That corner seems to be perfect overtaking spot for us as we chase down Carlos Sainz then. He's our next target. Just three tenths away at the moment. Whoop! Bit of a moment. But we uh, we held it together. And it looks like we might be sizing ourselves up for a move down the final straight here. Oh, are we going to go early? It looks like we're going early. There was a bit of a move there. Not sure why we would have done that move there and not just held back a little bit, but... Who knows? Carlos Sainz, of course, then, in our mirror, chasing us down again on the DRS straight. So, is he going to take back 
the position. It looks like he might do. Although, he's backing off. Does that mean he's going to pit? He is. He's going to pit. So he was... He, yeah, he could have just... Lando is in the pits. Hung Lando out anyway, but Lando Norris in the pits then. Our teammate, Perez in the pits. Bottas in the pits. In the pit All the front runners the in the pits. Jeff telling us that we're in our pit window now. So, or near our pit window. Uh, we set another fastest lap on these medium tyres, which is incredible. Verstappen, three seconds behind us. He's obviously pitted off of his softs onto medium tyres. So his laps, are, uh, his tyres are way fresher than ours. As we come towards the end of lap seven, we're going to drop into the pit lane and get on the soft tyres, which should give us even more pace. As there goes Max Verstappen flying past. And I think Valtteri Bottas as well, just following him into the eighth lap. Where are we going to come out then? There goes Bottas. There goes Lando. And there comes us. Just behind Lando then in what I think will be P5. We've got some catching up to do, of course, but we're on the better tyre. So, yes, here we are then in P5. We've got five laps to go. Let's see where this takes us. We're hoping for a good result because obviously Bahrain put us in really good standing in the championship. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Thanks, Jeff. Closing up then to our teammate and Sergio Perez just ahead. Because we really want to be chasing down Bottas and ultimately Verstappen. If we can go for the win, that's the ideal scenario. I don't think we're going to be able to do it in such a short race. But you never know. We've got some real pace in this car this season, so let's see what we can do as we come down to the final couple of corners of this lap. Nice and close to Lando, and hopefully we'll be able to get past him without too much hassle down towards Turn 1. But let's see. Lift off a little bit there. I'm a bit nervous with the old uh, dirty air. Not really closing that gap there at all, but it looks like another fastest lap for us as we dive down the inside on Lando. Get that one, uh, get that move done. And now we're chasing after Sergio Perez in the Red Bull. And then there's only two cars after that. A Mercedes and another Red Bull. So uh, let's see how we handle this. Nice and close to Sergio Perez here then. Are we going to go down the inside? Yes, we are. We give him plenty of space. He fights back. Who gets the better run out here? Is it us or is it Sergio Perez? Just about us as we outbreak him in towards the castle section and nearly hit the wall there. But we get the move done. That puts us on the podium. And that's what we want. That's what we want. We want to be scoring these solid positions, of course. But... We're not done yet. We're chasing down Valtteri Bottas. We've got two laps to go. We almost slam into the back of him under braking. But we, uh, we managed to get out of that one. Giving him plenty of space, of course, on the inside. But we get the move done. And we're up into P2. So now, nice all that's left is to catch Max Verstappen and potentially go for the win in this race. If we can get two wins back to back, that'll be incredible. A really strong start to the season. Heck. Even P2 it will be a really strong start to the season. So we've just got to hold it together now for the last couple of laps. As we head into the final lap of the race, we have dropped that gap. The gap to us, or to, to Verstappen between us, is one and a half seconds. It's going down. We're obviously on the faster tyre. And we're obviously pulling away from the cars behind, which is great news. Can we catch Max on this lap? We haven't got DRS down this straight. But we will get it on the final straight. Will this be a drag race to the line? Potentially. We're getting super close now. Are we going to be close enough, though, to make a move before the end of the last lap? This is going to be really close. Checking our tyre wear. Looking pretty good. We haven't done that many laps on them, to be fair. As we head into the castle, we are literally on his bumper. That's what we want to see. Through Castle. 
Nice and easy. And now it's on. We have dropped back a bit though. We got a much better exit out of the castle section than we did. Are we going to get DRS? We are just over a second. We've pulled it back to under a second. So as we come across the detection line in just a minute, we... Yeah, we're plenty close enough. So we're going to get DRS here. We've got barely any ERS left. That's not ideal. It's going to be a drag race then to the line. Can we do it? Can we get P1 in Baku? As we head towards the DRS zone, DRS goes on. Max has run out of battery. We've also run out of battery, to be fair. We go to the right-hand side. And Max just, well done, just keeps it. Wow, we that was close. What a race, man. Here we go. Let's have a look at that. Here's Max on the run to the line. We're going to come up on the right-hand side. What was it, like a wing's length? Unbelievable. What a race. And so ends another Azerbaijan Grand Prix. A fascinating race and a well-deserved victory. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves. Certainly are. Max Verstappen then taking the win. Damien Power in second. That's us. And Valtteri Bottas for Mercedes. I don't know what happened to Hamilton in that race, but he didn't do very well. So not ideal for Mercedes, but yeah, great, great for Red Bull. Um, of course, we score some more points for McLaren and ourselves, which puts us in very good stead in the championship. Lando Norris bringing it home in P5. Unfortunately, he didn't quite make it into P3, which is where he started, but still, a good finish for the team, at least. Let's say that much. Here's the, the driver standings, then. We are in the lead of the driver's championship currently, and McLaren, our team, in P2. Looking very, very good for us into Season 2, then. Uh... And the next race, which I believe is France. Let's have a quick let's have a quick look. Next race is France. A strong track for us. So hoping that we do well around there. Then after that we've got Austria, Silverson, Spa, Monza, Interlagos, Australia, Melbourne, and Abu Dhabi for the rest of this season. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, leave us a little comment. If you're new here, sub, 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 hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time in France for the French Grand Prix. See you later.